All right, Alex, my apologies again for the, uh, for the Zoom not working out here with the, uh, with the service, but this is the outside of the house for you. So over here would be the one bedroom and up over here is where the three bedroom is. Uh, the cottage is in the back over there, which I will go over to that in a minute. But let's start in the main unit, the three bedroom unit here. Fieldstone chimney on the side, nice touch, fieldstone walkway, uh, wood siding, looks pretty good overall. Of course, uh, not the home inspector, so they would have to kind of take a better look at that just to make sure. But this is your entrance way here. We'll go over to the left first. This is gonna be the main living room area, which is a really good size. That's a pellet stove, so of course it runs off of electricity. It's not the main heating source. Um, the main heating source is oil um and through forced hot air but this is they say this is nice just it, it, it just kind of helps out a little bit especially with oil prices being what they are so uh through here um door to the basement we'll go there last uh we have one of the full baths right here uh you know I, it, it's dated for sure uh the nice thing about this one though is it has two full baths in it so you can kind of renovate one while using the other though being out of bath. This is one bedroom right here. Smaller of the three, for sure. But still enough to, to fit a, a smaller bed in, a kid's bed in. Um, you know, it, it'd make a it, good office. Plenty of natural light for it. This is the closet for it. Decent size. All right. Let's head over here. Actually, you know what? We'll hit... This is the screened in porch right here, right off the living room. Really good size. Um, flooring is just the regular concrete. You would probably want to add some flooring to at least down the road or, or just give it a good paint job to kind of spruce it up a bit. But the screens all for what they are look in good shape. I'm, I'm sure that the video kind of makes it doesn't really show anything. It just looks like they're not there, but they're all in good shape. These windows here point out into the kitchen, which we'll go into right there. So you get a nice view of the uh, screened in porch. Tons of natural light throughout this entire main unit here. Uh, big dining area right here. Uh, really good sized kitchen as well. Tons of cabinet space. Uh, again, kind of dated. A lot of these things kind of need to be a little bit spruced up, but um, but I mean, a good size for sure, without a doubt. So again, like reasons, old oven, you know, appliances are all just old, um, but could just be, could be replaced, could be updated, pretty, pretty simple. Older fridge too, even. Uh, coat closet, this is gonna be right off the uh, main entrance here. Sorry, I'm gonna shut that door. Coat closet right off the main entrance, let me get you some light. Good size, pretty long, double doored too, as you can see. Another little small kind of pantry right next to it. Good wood doors too, they're not those cheap ones throughout. So this is one of the uh, bedrooms in the back. Good size, again, back to it. Lots of natural light. I, I don't even think I've turned on a light since I've been in here and it's, it's shown plenty good. Closet over here, double door it again. So again, good size. Some shelving in there. This is the second full bath in this unit. So again, you know, a little, not as dated as the other one, but just a little, little dated. Small cosmetics, nothing crazy. Uh, this is the third bedroom. Again, really good size here. Again, lots of natural light here. Faces the road on this one. Closet right here, smaller closet. Still not a bad size. Laminate flooring is in good shape. Again, it's just, uh, it's a cosmetic thing, stated. I mean, 
it doesn't look that bad to be honest with you. Uh, and like I said, it's in good shape. It's not peeling up anywhere. It's not cracking or chipping anywhere. So sorry, I don't think I pointed this one out. And if I did, I apologize. But uh, this is the, again, right off the front door here. Uh, this is where the washer dryer hookup would be. Uh, one thing that I will point out is this is the only area in the three units where there is washer dryer. So if you wanted to do some type of laundry situation, um, you might have to configure something in the basement, which we'll go hit right now. So again, uh, this is the door for the basement right off the living room. Uh, the seller said to the agent that he has an electrician coming through to uh, just do some fine touches on things down here. Um, just, you know, like I think they said something about that light fixture on the stairs that we just came down. Um, it, it just needs to be replaced in the cottage up on the property. Uh, he's going to replace all the light fixtures up there. So some stuff going on. Uh, hot water and furnace for unit one. Hot water and furnace for the second unit over here. Both definitely a little older for sure. We're gonna try to get some service reports on them from the uh, from the seller, um, but apparently working in in good condition. Uh, and so long as they're firing at good efficiency, you know, with these things, you just you run them till you can't, and when you can't, uh, you call Mass Save and 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 have them uh, help you out on the finances with it. These are the two two oil tanks here. Let me uh, get a light on for you. Oh, I can't. Shoot, I'm sorry. Uh, the two oil tanks here, two 300 gallon oil tanks, 275 technically, but who's counting? <clears throat> this would be the bulkhead out over through here. Again, my apologies, I'm trying to find all the lighting here, but. Um, and then the, again, sorry for the lack of lighting. The, let's see if I can. The two electrical panels, God, you can't even see them on the screen. Oh, is this a switch? Let's go, sorry about that. The uh, two electrical panels for these two units are right back here. Uh, and she said that these were done uh, within the last four years. Uh, and while we're at it, the roof was, uh, had a uh, another layer of shingles put down uh, nine years ago. So roof's in good shape, electrical's in good shape. We like to hear that. All right, get that off. Uh, one more thing on this too, sorry. This unit's big, it's got a lot to show. Is this door right here, again, off the living room, leads up to the attic, which could be, if you're feeling adventurous, for sure finished. Um, and made into a uh, little bit more living space, another bedroom, however you want to do it. But it definitely does need the work. If not, there's still it's just great for storage up here. There's plenty, plenty of room, and even in this little area off here. So not too bad. Again, could finish it if you wanted to, but if not, great for storage. This door real quick. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna go up this way. I'll just shut it in the back. Oh, sorry. It's all right. Excuse me. I'm gonna sneak out here. All right. So, big, beautiful backyard. That is where the cottage is over there. We'll uh, we'll talk more on this as I walk over to the uh, to the cottage after this unit. Well, I feel like I don't got to tell you what that is. Uh, artesian well, she's saying. So this is the second unit. This is the one bedroom. Uh, one issue here, though, uh, it won't be a big issue for you guys if uh, you're starting off by coat closet right here. Uh, renting, you know, kind of not renting, but living in units with each other. Uh, it won't be a big deal, but if you do go to rent this down the road, that is the only exit. Um, you would have to add a second egress for this to become a legal apartment. My best bet is to put one right there. Put, even just put sliders right there, you know? Um, kill that electrical, 
uh, put in sliders right there and then boom, you're done. Uh, it'll look nice, it'll keep the natural light in here. Uh, yeah, and just, and it's, it's nice and simple. But anyway, sorry, back to it. This is the living area. Really good size for a one bedroom apartment, for sure. Over here is the bathroom. However, it does connect to the, uh, the bedroom. So we'll go over there and I'll show you. It's a Hollywood bath. So this is the bedroom. Turn some light to this one, a little bit darker over here, but still good brightness. Good size for sure. Absolutely. Walk-in closet over here has built-in bureaus, which has a great little character feature. This is uh, access to the attic space that would be for this apartment. But again, good size walk-in closet would make a great unit for a, for a couple. Uh, and then this is the bathroom. So it's, it's right off the bedroom and it's right off the main living space. Um, back to it, you know, it's, uh, it's dated, you know, needs, needs some updating, can be done fairly easily. Um, you could add some more space to it too by doing so. You know, I mean, just making this, this is a tin, as you can hear, um, shower, smaller. I would just take this down, bump it out a little bit, put some glass doors in. Uh, just keep it a shower, obviously. I mean, adding a bath, in, bath uh, bathtub in here to make it a full bath would be a lot. I'd keep it a three-quarter bath. Um, but yeah, not a bad size for for a one-bedroom apartment. Again, you're ideally renting it out to a single person or a couple, so you don't need a ton of space in there. Lots of storage in these cabinets leading up to the kitchen. Drawers as well in the bottom. And we have a whole second one right there too. So lots of pantry space, storage space. This is the kitchen, it's a dine-in, of course. Uh, same deal here, a little dated, you know. Um, you know, just cabinets are in good shape. Um, everything's working, but again, just a little older. Uh, one thing I will say though, this door right here is walled off on the back side. This used to lead into, you know what, I'm not even gonna open it because it's got the nail up here. So um, it used to lead into that other um, area. This was more of like an in-law for the original setup before it became a multifamily. Uh, you could just as easy as they walled it off on the other side, you could just wall that off as well too. Again, create your second egress down here, just make it look a little bit, a little bit nicer. Uh, but there is no, like I said, there's a wall right there. So there is no access from that second unit into this one through that door. Completely, completely walled off. <clears throat> Back to another look at the kitchen real quick before I head out. Really good size too. I'm hoping the video is uh, doing it justice. So good size, uh, really big first unit, good size second one bedroom unit. So you're in the well, here's your bulkhead access. So again, like I was saying, if you could configure something with a plumber to get a uh, washer dryer hookup down there, really easy for apartment one to get in, or apartment two, I should say, to get in there. And I mean, it's a walk for the other one, but still, you know, they don't have to go to the laundry mat. So one well for the whole unit, for the uh, whole property. There are two septics. One is there and one is further up there. Um, both uh, title fives will be done next week. Just to show you the plot again, it's huge. It's just under six acres, 5.75, I think even a little more than that, but um, really, really beautiful piece of property here. Uh, there is a little pond over here, which the seller has told the listing agent that they used to back when they were living here. Um, they had sand over here and they this was all cleared out and they raked it and everything and they used to actually swim in there uh it would take a lot of work to do that but if you wanted to do something like that down the line it would it would be pretty epic you would be king of the barbecues for sure by having a private pond there uh so i don't even know if you're going to be able to see it but uh on the video i should say but so walking up on top of what would be the septic right here for this main unit. Way 
out over there. Yeah, you can kind of see it. There's that, there's that, what looks like an electric fence. Uh, that is the property line. So again, to give you kind of adjust as to how much property you have here, I must be 200 yards away from that. So, um, so yeah, pretty good. Lots of trees. It's beautiful. So we'll hit the cottage up here and then uh, I'll go hit the garage over there and show you the, uh, the garage storage too. Yeah. Here, give you, while I'm doing this, give you some more views of the property. The cottage is, uh, it's nice, you know, it's, it's, it's smaller. I believe she said it was 16 feet by 26 feet. Um, so for, I'll do the math on the square footage there afterwards, but, but good size for, for a single, um, roof, as you can see up here, I mean, it's not, it needs some cleaning, maybe needs some updating, maybe needs some shingles replaced, but pretty good for the most part. I went around and poked at a lot of the wood, especially on the sills. It's in good shape. Not, not all rotted out. Um, let's hop in here and then I'll talk about the uh, driveway access. So. All right. Uh, so like I said earlier, light fixtures in here are gonna be replaced. I think, actually, yeah. So, I mean, they're, they're, they're ready to go with that. Uh, supposed to be replaced later on this week at the very most, you know, before closing. So, Again, back to it, kind of, you know, cosmetics throughout this entire place, you know, it, it needs some updating. Um, the previous tenant here was single guy, lived here alone. Again, it would work great for, this would be a great option for that single, single person or uh, a couple who doesn't need too much space. This is your living area here. Uh, this one's electric heat. This whole unit's electric heat. However, this is a wood burning um, fireplace. Uh, the previous tenant used this as the main source of heat. They never, according to the listing agent, never even turned the uh, the electric heat on. Uh, just used that and it, it cranked, it worked good, which again, this is a small unit. You can definitely see that. Another bathroom here that could use some updating. This, they are, they're just resealing everything. Um, the, the, that's why the toilet is removed. Um, you know, the, the plumber had to leave earlier, so they weren't able to finish it, but that will be done later on tomorrow, they said. Um, but nothing to really worry about there. Small bathroom, again, nothing crazy. Could be updated, could be spruced up, could be brightened up in here to make it look bigger. You know, these wood paneled walls and, and obviously the, uh, the, uh, privacy glass there makes it seem a little bit smaller than it is because of the lighting. I mean, the lighting still isn't that bad, but, but, uh, could definitely be made to look bigger, could be made to look a little nicer with some small some small updates. Uh, I was told that the tenant that lived here before too um, had a daughter on the weekend and <laughs> I don't know how legal this is, but uh, their bedroom was actually up there. You can even actually see where the ladder that they had for it used to be. If, you know, it could be an option. I mean, definitely have, it wouldn't hurt to have like an architect or, you know, uh, a building inspector or whatever come in here to make sure that that is, you know, enough support up there to be load bearing, but it could be a cool little hangout spot for sure. Um, this is the bedroom right over here, closet area, pretty good size, you know, again, back to it, a couple that doesn't need a lot of space or a single person fit in here just fine. This is the electrical for this whole unit. Here's a, you know, a little old, but working. These are the old ones. I'm gonna go check to make sure that knob and tube has been removed properly because that should be removed if that was the case, but I didn't think to ask that earlier. I can definitely get the answer for you on that. Give you one more look at the bedroom here. So we got doorways here and doorways here as well. All right, let's hop outside. I'll show you where the driveway for this uh, unit is. It's got its own separate private driveway. However, according to the listing agent, so this is the driveway right over here. Um, according to the listing agent, it's technically, technically this right here. 
is the property line, the boundary marker. Kind of goes off like this. I have the, uh, like it literally goes along these two stone walls. I have the plot line in hand. Um, but this driveway right here technically isn't a part of the property. She said that it's never mattered in like however long it's been there, 20 years it's been there, which honestly at this point it might even be owned by them through squatter's rights. Um, but we're, absolute worst case scenario, if the neighbor ever did, does give you a hard time, the start of the driveway is their property, which is down there. Sorry for the brightness. Let's see if, wherever the mailbox is, that is part of it. If anything does come up, you could literally just, sorry, um, have the driveway just come up along here. You know, not a, not a huge, not a huge problem at all. Not a huge factor at all. Um, uh, again, kind of another look at the other side of this cottage. All right, let's uh, go hit the garage real quick. The nice thing about the cottage too is it almost rents like a very small single family. It's completely separate from, from here. I mean, it's it's a good little walk, it's about a hundred yards from the uh, main, uh, main units down here, the main two units down here. All right, so this is the upper part of the garage. This is what's above the garage, good storage shed. Ramps, this is a garage door here that was uh, pulled down when I showed up. Right up there, so it is in working shape. Um, yeah, real big. Plenty of storage up here. I mean, it needs to be cleaned out, which it obviously would be prior to closing. Um, you know, re-insulated, maybe throw up some fresh, some new wall right there wouldn't hurt kind of pretty it up a little bit um good storage though all righty we'll head down to the uh main part of the garage here so there's a second entrance right there too so you don't have to go in through the garage bay every time it sounds like they're running some piece of equipment down here hopefully you can still hear me oh you're good just it back and these are the two garage bays. So one right here. Door is about a little more than six feet. It goes pretty deep. And it's completely separate from the second one over here. This is the second one here. I'm told it's the it mirrors it. So same. Be up here. This is a good look at it. And one more look at the outside of the property for you from a different angle. All right. All right, so I'm gonna send this over to you. And like I said, if you have any questions, just uh, feel free to reach out.